Hello everybody, Dave here and welcome to part 39 of my Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play recorded directly from the Nintendo 3DS. I do apologise that it has been a while since my last upload. I've had some issues which included the recording of this episode. So to reward you, this episode is going to be a bit longer than normal. Continuing where I left things off last time, we had beaten the very last island challenge and now we're going to face our last grand challenge. As you can also probably see, it is night time, so I might get some different Pokemon. Nope, still got Fufu. Gonna double kick. And another foo foo. Next double kick. That foo foo. Right, let us go with a Darkest Lariat on the Taming Fufu. There it goes. Level up. Outrage. Um, what does that do? Very strong physical attack. I will get rid of. Hmm. Double kick, I think. Fufu. Say goodbye to yourself. I'm probably going to end up regretting getting rid of um, double kick at some point but our age is a lot more stronger. Yes, it leaves me confused, but it has a higher base power. Hmm. Ah, I'm going completely the wrong direction. I do apologize, guys. I'm meant to be heading to Executor Island. Let's just have a quick heal up. And then they're heading this way towards Executor Island. For the Grand Trial. It's a Hapu who's out on Executor Island. Do you want to go meet her? Yes, please. Alright, the SS Magic Cup will have you there and you think we're sailing in a dream. 
Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. You are Executor Island. You go on, good luck. <laughs> Climb an executor. Do you want to try and take me and my Pokemon out on at full strength? Yes, please. Then allow me to show you the power of the Kahuna chosen by Tapu Fini itself. I am Kahuna Hapu, and with the sparkling stone entrusted to me by the Tapu, I have made the Z-Power Ring, Dave. Having Z-Power Rings as we do means that we battle with the Tapus beside us. This is the first grand trial of Kahuna Hapu. I will battle you with everything that I have got. Go luck. Darkest Lariat. Bye bye, go luck. Mudstail. Okay, so let's try Outrage on it. And it's going to get a bit of boost thanks to stamina. Here comes the Z power. That's going to leave a mark. We'll send in Northern. Who won't be affected by any of the ground moves. And then we'll go with an Air Slash. No we'll payback, that's gonna hurt. So right, another air slash should be fine. There goes the mudsdale. Fly gone. And I think Z move, Draco Meteor, Devastating Drake. Devastating Drake! Boom! I'm just gonna get that, get up to full power. Ground water type. Go of an air slash to begin with. He needs to get a flinch. Once again, air slash. Now it's got a cover.
Have I got anything that's good against it? I suppose I could try a bit of uh, physical attacking. Fake out. And then we'll go for knockoff. I'll eat me berry. Right. Let's have a think. Reversal. Another reversal. There we go, but I guess it's on. That, that's the sound of your strength rocking me to my core. You have succeeded in your final grand trial. You. You're undoubtedly a precisionist trainer, Dave. In the past, any trainer who completed the Iron Challenge would make a pilgrimage to Mount Lukuna to battle the Kahunas once more. In these battles alone, the Kahunas would no longer hold back in any way. But this year, you face a different sort of tr final trial upon Mount Lahuma. That will be your next station, but first, let us return to Pony Island. A new final trial awaits you upon Mount Lohana, Dave. You can begin your trek up Mount Lohana from the top of village on New Hala Island. Right, let me heal up. And then we'll head to that mountain. If I have to face another rock train, I'm not going to have much... Well, we'll have a ground trainer that specializes in ground types. I'm not going to have much luck as I don't really have anything that's super effective against it. That's Incineroar and that healed. Alright, now to go to a So come on, Charizard, fly me! Fly me there, Charizard! Right, Tapu Village. Oh, wow. Here we go. Ah, Gladion. I've been waiting for you. Thank you for what you did for Lily from our mother. I appreciate it, maybe more than you know. And the only thing I can offer you in thanks is a great battle. I'm so going to show my full power, my real full power this time. 
with the Z ring that old man gave me. Oh yay! Crowbat. No, I don't want any of that, thank you. So let's get into Magnazone, please. That would not do very much. I'm gonna buff it, buff it, buff it by the hail. But I'm gonna go discharge. Once, of course, Crowbat hit me with acrobatics. Lovely. More hail. Lucario. Interesting. That's going to hurt. Into an electro ball. Might as well keep him with Magnazone. Steel fighting. I could go with Ric Flair or Incineroar. Let's go, Incineroar. Flare Blitz. If you survive the Sora Sphere, that is. I need to switch out. Right, faint attack, fake out, sorry. Ah, oh, it wasn't even in, it was uh, Zarak. That's right then. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt too. And that's the proper Sea Valley. I wonder if a knockoff would do anything. Or not. Say hello to my Tyranitar. Let's change the weather conditions. All right, earthquake. Rock tomb. And once again, please. Good Tranitar.
Hmm, there's nothing more to say. You got good Pokemon. I know what kind of trainer you are now, and what kind of journey you've been through. Last time I saw Lily, she was heading up to Mihiro Trail. It seems like she had something on her mind. She's she's gentle enough to be able to feel how much pain Pokemon go through. I guess that's kind of a strength too. Here, take this. She wanted me to give it to you. You know, I tried beating ha Batting Hower too. He's really changed. I'm not surprised anymore that he managed to beat even Kahuna Howl. Hmm. <laughs> if you two are going to get even stronger, then I guess I can't let my guard down yet. I know we aren't friends, but we aren't enemies anymore either. Keep winning. Maybe I'll see you again if you do. Before I go any further, I think I need to heal. Think? Definitely need to heal. <coughs> now that everyone's fully healed. Time to go up Mount Lakuhina. Never able to pronounce it properly. Do I go left or go right to go straight? I mean right or straight? I did right to begin with. Mm -hmm. Ah, Salando. Sneasel. Even. I am going to flip it, yeah. Good thing I did, because there's a shiny item. Oh, it's an escape rope. Into the cave. Prepare the repel. I sent Zubat nearby. Uh, super potion onto the Rip Flare, please. How about you? He's trying to slip. And he's got a Scyther. Interesting. I know what he needs. A Flare Blitz. Really? Double hit? Like double kick? Oh, Manama. Let's try Malicious Moonsault against it. I know it's a Psychic Dark type, so... Uh...
Bei Ben Menema. Please, let me have a moment with my Pokémon now that they're back in the Pokéballs. You challenged me. Let's get... Let's get a different Pokémon up first. Nizo. Go on Pokemon to have up front. Go away. Yes, I have my Espeon. Leave my Espeon alone. He has something interesting being built, so I just had to see it for myself. Veteran. Now look at him. Let's be on. Psychic, please. Let's get in there, please, girl. Oh, Gudra. I might need a car mind. Healing time? Mm, no, I didn't matter. It's fine. You're going to experience. The most powerful dragon move I got. Devastating Drake from A. Jacob Meteor. The way you and your Pokemon battle, that was definitely worth seeing. And once I revive my poor Espeon, didn't look after her too well. Sorry, Espeon's a male. Also give healing to Ric Flair. Wait, do I have? I do not. I thought I had leftovers. Or something like that. What to me is that? Poison jab. Useful. Ah. Going the wrong way. An asbol.
Run away. <laughs> Lots of dark type Pokemon. Okay. That's this little dark type Pokemon. I need Harry Armor up front. We dug the tunnels, we made the path. Now we're going to challenge a challenger. Velocath. Take out fast. And then we're going to go close combat. The challenger is something else. Definitely one that won't be beaten easily. Can I get off this man champ now? Oh, thank you for that. Hmm. Something tells me that I'm going to be fighting some fighting type Pokemon. Oh, no fun. Uso, the guy next to me, say, Uso too. Put your strength into the area below your belly button. Double battle. Sparring partners Craig and Jason. Not hailing anymore. Right. Air cutter, please. And Ranatar. Earthquake, please. Oh wow, one hit KO. Hmm, that confused me. Lovely. Everyone's baffled by Sandstorm. At least the Haluch is gone. We'll get a Magna Zone in. This uh, bait. We're gonna go air cutter, and I'm going to revive Tyranitar. Level up. I love it. It's just that one left, so we can go air slash, and we can also go flash cannon. Just in case.
Everyone gains levels. How frustrating. The guy next to me feels frustrated too. I'm losing my strength. This bit is different. <gasps> oh my word, it's the Quizma. Oh wow. Hello, save. Save. Save now. The Necrozma has fallen to the ground, weak and drained of power. Will you share the light of your Z power ring with Necrozma? Uh, yes. Um. Um. I don't know if I should master ball it. Quick ball. Ah, oh, yes! Look at that. Quick ball does the job. Whew. And I can do nothing there. Crowsman's data. Added to the Pokedex. Let's see what this Pokedex says. It looks somehow painted, as in it rages around in search of light, which serves as its energy, which apparently from a po is apparently from another world. Okay, that's that's not too bad. I suppose for Necrozma. Uh, no no him. Uh, let's have a look. What is going to give Ove? I'll swap Espeon out. We found a Z crystal that fell from the Necrozma. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that word. Splendid. Us? It's been a while, Dave. You must be a familiar trainer here indeed if you're able to get a close as one of your allies. Good, and this is from me. The Ultra Recon Squad asked me to develop a device which would be able to control a Krozma, but I improved it to my own liking. And now it's a device that makes it possible to draw even more power from the Krozma. Yes, in short, makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse the legendary Pokemon Sogaleo. In this Cortress machine number 1198, officially dubbed N Solizer. In addition, this is the Cortress machine number 1199, officially dubbed N Lunalizer. Makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse with the legendary Pokemon Lunala. Ah yes, I have heard in fact that you first met Sogaleo, you know, its pre-evolved form Cosmog, upon my whole trail. I believe that a trainer like you would be able to use both Alola's legendary Pokemon and the fearsome power of Necrozma properly. I happen to know quite a bit about Pokemon fusion myself, but that is a different tale. Good luck in your battles. Okay, that is where I'm going to wrap it up for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, do forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until the next one, this is Dave, continuing on his Pokemon adventure.